Hello, in today's video we're going to look at putting together a national six inch roof. This roof also fits on the commercial hive. Uh, the tools you'll need is a hammer, a punch, tape measure, a block of wood just to protect the wood slightly when you're hammering it. If you have one you can use a rubber mallet. If you have one a sash cramp is always useful for pulling in the joints but we can get by with a block of wood if we have to. In your kit you should get these two outside walls which have this groove ventilation slot in them, two outside walls that are just plain, four bars and then the metal and the plywood. Now the inner plywood can be quite tricky to get out of the metal cover, they're a tight fit so if you take it and just bang it upside down on your bench hopefully it'll just fall out. Then we can put this to one side for now while we make the rest of the roof. Okay, so the first job is to line up all these joints. And we're going to apply glue to all the joints. It's just easier to do them all in one go than separately. So just apply glue into all of these grooves. Now we're using a powdered resin wood glue. You mix it with water and it makes a chemical reaction, it makes a bond stronger than the wood itself. But there are plenty of decent glues out there. If you want the ones coming straight out of the bottle, that's fine. Just make sure you get a decent exterior wood glue. A nice covering on all these joints. And then we'll flip it over, do the same on this end. Okay, and now we're basically going to make this into a box. So if you take a piece with this vent in, this vent needs to end up on the outside of the roof. If you put it on the inside and then you cover it with your plywood, it becomes obsolete. So that needs to be outside. And then one of your blank pieces goes in here. You'll see the joints will only line up one way round. The other blank side in here and again with the vent facing outwards onto these. If you just offer them in just slightly to start with rather than trying to put the whole joint in and then we can tap it down and in from each direction. Should be a nice fit. So now we have to get all these joints nicely butted up together. So if you only have a hammer and your block of wood, just tap them down. Work your way around the roof. If you have your rubber mallet, you can do the same with that. Again, working your way around. Or you can use the sash cramp. Pull the sides in, do that end and see what's happening. Now we can start to nail it together. So we open up our pack of nails. So there's a few different nails here in this pack. We want these inch and a half ones to start with. They're going to go down through these joints. Again, we don't bother nailing through all the joints on the outside, we go down through the joints. So you have no exposed nails. So we're trying to get that to go straight down through the joints. Same on each corner. And then take your punch and punch these down. And then the same on the other side.
Let me just punch those down. Okay, so the next job is going to be fitting the plywood to the top, basically putting the lid on as it were. So we want to make sure that these pieces of mesh line up with our vents here, like so. So the first job is to put a bead of glue on this face here. And then we offer our plywood up, making sure the vent matches the vent. And we're going to concentrate to start with on getting this edge here flush or fairly flush with a piece of wood and the two ends the same. If we then fix this in place, we can use the plywood, which is square, to square up the box underneath. So we take our one inch nails, not the galvanized ones, just the standard sheridized pins. And we're going to pin it on this side here. down into the roof below. Just be careful that you're getting the nails in line with the piece of wood. You've only got half an inch here to hit underneath. And turn the roof right round. And now we can see you can use the plywood, get them equal or flush on each side. And now the underneath will be square. For this end, I'm going to put two nails, one here and one there, making sure that we miss the vent on each side. And the same on this side. Okay, now if we flip it over, we're gonna fit the bars to the inside of the roof. So we put some glue on one of these faces here. So these bars are all the same length. It's not a question of two long ones and two short ones. They just run around the inside of the box. Yeah. So these bars are all the same length. They're not two long bars and two short ones. So they just sort of follow each other around inside the box. And now we're going to nail them in place. I like to do the two bars first that have got the mesh underneath them because they tend to sit just fractionally higher than the other ones because we want, we want these edges to be flush in the end. So if we nail these two in first, push that one up to there. And we're going to fix those in place by nailing from the outside through into the bar. Still using the sheridized one inch pins If you find the nail has pushed the bar away from the inside, just knock it back down from in here. Got that one. And just repeat on all the four sides. Okay, so the final job is going to be to obviously put the tin metal lid on. What we normally do in the workshop now is we'd put that to one side, let the glue dry and then sand it. Um, you don't have to sand it, you can just put your lid on. But I would definitely let the box dry and go hard before I started smacking the metal lid into place because you might knock it back out square or whatever. So we'll put that aside and get one that I made yesterday. So here's the one 
made yesterday, which is dried and sanded. And we'll put the lid onto it. Make sure it's nicely pressed down. Now we're going to nail it in place with our galvanized nails. So I'm using this nail to measure, come in by one amount, down by one amount. So on this end piece here where you've got a, a double thickness of metal, if you have such a thing, you can use a hardened nail to punch a hole through first. If not, you might have to drill a small hole through it because it's probably going to be too much for your galvanized nails to punch through in one go. And then we do the same on this side, pulling the roof down towards us. Now I do these two sides here. Again, we're avoiding the vent in the middle. We do the two ends and the two by the side of the vent. And the same on the other side. And that's a completed national roof.